Hey folks, so uh, figured I'd uh, put out my last video here um, for now. I've been putting this off for about a week or two. Uh, I really shouldn't have been. Uh, as you can see, I've been puttering away at the, at the press today. Uh, everything's been running uh, incredibly well. Um, the, uh, the powder charges uh, off of that uh, resin cast or custom cast USA uh, disc uh, they've been coming out you know uh, plus or minus 0 0.1 grain uh, which has been doing really really well for me uh, all the other mods and tweaks and everything have been holding up uh, excellent uh, I did move the uh, the spring on the back of the pro auto disc powder feeder uh, there's two little attachment holes on the on the reset arm and I moved the spring up just for a little bit more tension um, yeah other than that everything's been running great uh, I did want to bring up one last little um, it, idea I guess you could say uh, now I actually got this idea uh, not from the reloading community, uh, but the 3D printing uh, community. Um, a big thing uh, that is going on now with 3D printers is remote monitoring. They allow you to put a little webcam down and you can, you can watch the process and control it and stuff from your smartphone. Well, uh, one of the uh, more common issues with reloading is powder charges. You know, um, visual inspection of the powder charge. I know they make uh, a specialty die that you can look down through it and they make like the halo lights and stuff. Uh, I don't know that they make them for the Auto Breach Lock Pro. Um, I have some seen some people will take like the little flexible um, bike mirrors, rear view mirrors and mount them up here. Uh, so that you can see in the mirror and look down in your cartridge. Um, for me, that, you know, between the bullet feeder off here and the angle and stuff, it's, you got to be able to get light on there and you got to get the right angle. And it just, it didn't sit well with me, um, you know, because I, I tend to move around in my chair quite a bit uh, when I'm reloading. Uh, so I came up. Uh, thanks to the 3D printing uh, community, I came up with something, uh, you know, I hope is uh, a little bit cheaper and easier and, you know, works for people other than myself. Um, and that is to use basically a camera. Um, but as you can see, I don't have uh, another webcam sitting over here. But you see this wonderful tube here? That's what this is. Uh, thanks to a really annoying advertisement on Facebook um, for a for an endoscope. Uh, you know, some people use them as borescopes. Um, but no, so what I did was I actually went online and I found myself a cheap uh, USB OTG uh, endoscope. And so what I did is I just have it plugged down onto one of my little tablets. Watching the powder level. And so I can sit here as I'm cranking out uh, ammo. And I can visually watch the uh, the powder charge. You know, I can see and compare in my head uh, the powder charge versus the previous one, and uh, just let it run. Um, the uh, the USB OTG endoscope camera that I have there um, actually came with a couple of different tips. Uh, by the, the the 
plug that's on the end of it is USB Type C. So you know your newer Samsung tablets uh, and and phones and stuff. Um, but it also has a uh, micro B adapter, uh, which is what I'm using on my um, tablet. There, it's a it's an Amazon Fire. 2019, 2018 model, I don't remember. Um, but it also has a USB 3 uh, type A plug for plugging into a computer. Uh, so I could actually run it off my laptop if I wanted to. Uh, they do have um, a Windows application you can you can download and run. Um, or uh, they have Android applications. Uh, being an OTG camera, technically you can use any OTG camera application on Android. Uh, so you don't have to use, you know, that manufacturer. Uh, I normally use OTG View. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't. It crashes and doesn't like my uh, my Fire tablet there. So in this case, I am using theirs. Now, uh, one thing I will mention is that. A lot of those uh, endoscopes that you can get uh, for Android, um, they are incredibly long. Um, you know, I'm talking three to five meters, you know, uh, 10 to 15 feet. Um, I had intended on only getting the one that was 1.6 meters. Is I think what it was supposed to be, uh, so about uh, four and a half five feet. Um, instead, I got the one that was labeled as sixteen feet, which you know five meters. <laughs> so it's all coiled up, hanging off the edge down here. Um, <laughs> way overkill. Um, now it's nice; it, it does have a uh, a little adjustable light. So let me uh, flip off my my uh, workbench light here, and you can get a little bit better view of the dark. Let me cover this, see if I can block this so you can see. There we go. So yeah, you know, um, the focal length on it is about three to four inches which uh, is just about perfect. You can see I have the camera just zip tied there just to keep it from flopping around. But it's the perfect distance between the brass and the camera. Um, it's about probably about as close as I could get it you know without drilling a hole through the frame which I'm not going to do. Um, but uh, that is my last uh, I think serious uh, improvement, upgrade, modification, you know, whatever, process change uh, for reloading that uh, I am going to be implementing for a while. Um, it's time for me to get uh, some more bullets in since I'm, God, I've gone through almost 2,000 of them now uh, since I started this. Uh, process here and uh, you know um, I for oh yeah I forgot to tell you the uh, the endoscope here that I picked up uh, only cost me I think like 25 bucks um, although if I had gone to a different source and had been a little bit smarter about it um, which I have done now um, I picked up two that are in the uh, one meter, one and a half meter range uh, for about eight bucks a piece. Um, took me a little bit of hunting them down, but I did find them. Uh, they're same connector plug, same adjustable LED, uh, five millimeter uh, camera size. So, you know, if you want to use it as a borescope, it'll work down to a 22 caliber. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I'm probably going to be replacing this thing and that 16 feet of coiled up camera down there with a, with a much shorter one. 
and uh, either hooking it into the, the laptop over here uh, full time or putting a wall mount display up uh, for it. So, uh, well, I uh, hope you've liked my video so far on uh, the inner workings of my brain and the outer workings of my Lee Auto Breech Lock Pro uh, reloading press. Uh, happy reloading, folks.